All right, guys, we're back at it again with the new vlog. Today, my boy is going washers. We already took off the springs. We did all the boring part already, so you guys won't have to watch that. Because I mean, you guys already know how to take coils over off. I hope so. Unless you're this guy, fucking cuts off his collars and Drill. drills a hole into his strut. Weight reduction, baby. Don't be this guy. If it works, it works. So, washers are going on. I'll show you guys a quick. Got some anime going on. We got the Cricket Mob workstation over here. Cricket Mob workstation? Cricket Mob flannel? Cricket Mob auto body? Cricket Mob shirt? Cricket Mob windbreaker? Yes, sir! Cricket Mob shorts? Cricket Mob shorts? What? Cricket Mob flag? Cricket Mob car? Everything's just Cricket Mob, baby. Cricket Mob with the Cricket Mob. So you're doing it, you want to start off with your bottom thread piece, set it flat where you can put it on the table, and then we're going to measure from this piece to the top hat, after we measured it, it went over on the floor, and then once we get to the height that you want, you'll measure the, the inner diameter of the shot or the rod itself, and you'll be able to know how much washes you're going to want to put on there from here to here. So. What do you say? What do you say? What do you say? Garbage? Alright, so when you're doing it, we already measured before on how far, when we measured it from the lip to the top hat, we measured it at 9 inches. Just so we can close the gap a little bit more, you want to compress it down to where it marks at your 9 inches. Right there, a little bit lower, so that way you can clear the gap. So you want to measure from the inside of the ring to the bottom to where all your washers are going to meet, and it's right there at about three inches. And you want to grab your washers. Where can we get those kind of washers? Harbor Freight. <laughs> Harbor Freight. <laughs> Home Depot, Lowe's. You just got to make sure you get the right size for your rod. Each, yeah, each rod is different, guys, so make sure. So we're going to measure it out at about three inches just so we can close this gap so we can be a little closer to finger to lip. You know, once you tighten it up, it's going to sit perfectly right there all the time. Perfect right height. That's how it's going to be, guys. Uh, no going up or down or nothing. Just set at one, uh, one height. The only preload you have is your tire pressure, so it's all kind of bouncing you have. Damn. Fuck it, let's send him. Guys, we just made the craziest fucking discovery ever. There's fucking socks in there. You guys see them? Dude, the cat probably put hella socks in there. We just took out like a shitload. This guy was just found it. <laughs> I was putting my wheels back on and this guy was like, dude, what the fuck? Why is there like laundry in your car? There's nothing but laundry. Freaking cat, dude. So crazy. No wonder fucking smell like feet in my car all the time. <laughs> So part two of finding more laundry in his car. Oh my god. Underwear. <laughs> more underwear. Trash. Wait, what? Found more shit? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Jesus Christ, that cat's a little thief. And there's still more. Oh my lord. That's a lot of stuff. 
Dang. Finally, I could get matching socks again. <laughs> like a whole pile of clothes, man. That's it? Uh, look on, look from the inside, Castle. We'll see if you see anything. See if you can see this light. We finally found all the missing socks. Like this one. Is this one over here. That's so crazy. This pile was inside my cabin air filter. You should know how often you change your cabin air filter. Thanks to this guy. If not, I would have had more weight in my car. <laughs> Appreciate you. That's crazy, my guy. All right, uh, people, do the honors. Let's see, Let's see what kind of magic did it do? Yeah. Need alignment. Fuck, my whole car just broke. Damn. Stand on there real quick though. And what broke? Damn, more stiffer than stiffer than what? I don't know. Now we can now we know how much lower you gotta go. See how you gotta clear the gap? Just take off like three, four washers. For another day though. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, the whole house! Well, no, his steering wheel is not straight, so that's the only reason why. Oh, that's true. So let me see if I can straighten out the steering wheel and see if you can how bad your toe is. I'll just keep on. <laughs> Damn, when you got on, the bag got higher. You did that or? Yeah, if you had to put wash in the room now. Oh, shit. Is it going to stay like that? No. No. Oh. Once it gets off. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty straight. And twerk, 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 twerk. <laughs> nah, it looks pretty straight. Or I'm just tripping. Oh yeah, there, the rear went back to normal. Oh, yeah, well, you need to take that camber out. No, this one's towed in or towed out a little bit. You can stand straight up. It's towing out. This lip. It's part of the lip that's sticking out a little bit more than this side. Oh, yeah, I see. So it's towed out, so we gotta bring that in. But it's all just small, my That or his legs are fucked. Or that, too. A little bit of both. <laughs> yeah, I need to take that camera off a little bit. Yeah, this one's hella towed in, or towed out. So, just make sense. Take it to alignment. It's good enough to take it to a alignment shop where you can just adjust it by, here, by hand. Yeah. With the rear, we can just add washers on later on. Yeah. Lower it a little bit more. I don't know if I could lower it more, actually, because uh, I think it hits the the top well. Or I don't know. I have to check it out. Uh, maybe if I take more camber, it'll probably be better. Because right now, I think I'm at negative 12. No, once you get your washers, you'll be fine. You have like another two inches up there. Oh, really? Yeah, but you have to bash in the pinch weld or your fender cut. Uh huh. You have to push that in a little bit more once they weld it and take it to the body shop to get all the rest of the stuff done. So, like, pretty much, you can bring it down to about right here. So that's about dropping like another inch to take, like, like and instead of. Washers. I don't know, I might just uh, either add a spacer or take some camber off. I don't know. Yeah, oh, you can even add an AutoZone special spacer. So you give it that little bit extra poke up to here. Mm -hmm. So once you do lower it more, you can add a little bit more camber. So it sits in there fine and flush. Yeah. Well, this is it, guys. Stiff suspension. Cheapest way. You don't want to spend a... Uh, how much are they? How much are 80... 80k Swift Springs. 100k Swift Springs? 100k, yeah. Like what, like 100 bucks each? 120 each. So, 120 each, you're spending 20 bucks, just for, or 40 bucks for all around suspension. You can either buy a 400, waste 400 bucks on, on springs, or just 40 bucks on washers. Cheapest way to go. Add zero, or take away zero. Add zero, or take away zero. Quick math. 40 or 400, <laughs> damn. This is a wrap, guys. Check out uh, Crooked Mob on our Instagram. Always mobbing. Uh, this is his, sig his signature uh, flannel right here. He's always looking fresh. It's cold outside. 
That's the wrap and the vlog.